We've got a big day of flying ahead of us today and lots and lots of flying over water. Basically the plan is go in that direction and well, just keep going. Zuma Island here in the middle of the Bahamas. I have to say this is probably one of the most beautiful places that I've ever had the privilege of doing some flight planning from. This is crazy. This is what aviation is all about is finding places like this. All right, customs cleared. It's a really easy process actually. If you're not used to clearing customs like me, for example, flying in Australia, we don't have to do this very often. The company Odyssey that we used here were really great. So thanks to everyone there for helping us out. It's just a case then of signing a general declaration or a gen deck as it's known, getting that approved by customs so we can leave the country and then we'll be on our way. In Australia, when we take a fuel sample, I can just chuck it on the ground afterwards. I almost did that here, but Nico told me we'll get fined if I do that. You take the whole sample, and then you have to put the whole thing back in the aircraft. Always learning, that's why I'm here, always learning. And Exuma, traffic, uh, series number 122 Sierra Zulu is taking runway 12, departing to the southeast. Exuma. Roger, advise, 10 to the southeast. And looking for 77, and the rotation speed, let's go. Going straight ahead, man. Yeah, it's nice. Straight out and then straight into the ne yep. destination as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh well. Farewell, Great Exuma Island. Bye, Bahamas. Bye, Bye Bahamas. Everyone. We'll see what the 5000 looks like. We may be able to climb to 7 and make it better. Yeah. Yeah. These don't look too high above us as well, so maybe if 7's above the tops of those, right. that, could be the, that could be the go. And 122 Sierra Zulu, Miami Center, Roger, reset your transponder swap 4643. 4643, 122 Sierra Zulu. Number 122 Sierra Zulu, radar contact, 6 miles, southeast Exuma. You're cleared to the Butler intersection via direct Indy. India, November, Delta, Echo, Echo, Amber 555, Butler, Bravo, Tango, Lima, Echo, Romeo. Butler is your clearance limit, no delay expected. I'm in it. I'm in maintaining flight level zero seven zero. Okay, Indy Amber five 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 uh, Butler zero uh, seven zero flight level one two seven thanks. So Indy is first, and then so Alpha five five five. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That's what I've got. Yeah. You said flight level zero seven zero. Uh, Am I supposed to go two nine nine two? But no, it's flight level, so you got to go yeah, standard. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so yes, yeah, standard barrel. Sorry, I keep forgetting your hex passage. Right. I have to translate, but yeah, if he's if he's giving you a flight level, then I don't know what the transition altitude is here, but I would um, I'd peg standard barrow and then go to seven thousand. Yeah. So we've filed an IFR flight plan for this leg, so we are now at cruise altitude seven thousand feet. Just looking on Nico's MFD here, we've got one hour nineteen minutes remaining until we get to South Cape. Because once we get there. Um, we're actually going to land, clear customs, and do another little bit of flying. There's a couple of islands we want to check out, but for now, we'll do this first leg IFR, and then we'll see what the weather's like. We might actually do the rest, like low-level VFR. That's kind of what we think. That's the rough plan for today, anyway. November one two two Sierra Zulu, Roger. 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 There's a lot of Roger in America. In Australia, Roger is generally used sarcastically. Roger is the whatever of aviation. over water today there's a few extra considerations um, we're both carrying like either an EPIRB or a PLB basically a device that can pinpoint our location just at the press of a button this is the Garmin inReach Mini this is clipped to me at all times I also wearing a life jacket because obviously we'll be out of gliding distance of land so we need to be wearing a life jacket in case we need to ditch the aircraft there's also a life raft on board as well which we have and we have a grab bag 
full of survival gear like food, rations, water. If the aircraft is going to ditch, whoever's flying the aircraft flies the aircraft down. And in our case, whoever's flying has the grab bag, whoever's the passenger grabs the life raft. Hopefully, of course, that will never happen, but what you don't want is you don't want to be making decisions at the time of an emergency. You want to brief it all beforehand so everyone knows exactly what they're doing should something like that happen. Oh, that's what that one was down there. Long Island, just to your right. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one. So there's a little airport down there somewhere. That's, but that's going to be the last land that we are, that we are on. No, it's this one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How do I zoom out? Yeah. Oh, uh, right here. This one, right. American 1341. That's the last land we'll fly over until almost we get to Turks and Caicos. There's quite a lot of over water flying today. November 122, Sierra are you able to find a 080? Affirmative. It's amazing that even out here there's traffic to warrant him wanting to push us up another level. Yeah. Just climbed up to 8,000 feet, flight level 8,000, because this is um, above the transition level where we're flying at the moment. And so we thought we'd do an oxygen check. So I thought I'd give the uh, the Garmin watch a go, just to check the pulse ox on here. And it's showing 94, don't know whether you can see that. Oh, what are you 93. Going for 93! Breathe, Nico, breathe! Uh, get the radio, so it's a call. Okay. November 9 or 7, Kilo Sierra, contact climb center 134.35. He's good. How do you like my mustache? And maintain it's beautiful, it's good. I like you so nice, you can ah. write my name on it. I bought it for him. This is gonna be yours. It's gonna stay in the hangar, nice and clean. I'll frame it. <laughs> November 8th. Can you fill it? Yep. 80 miles back. All right, American tune in in five 15, minutes time to see what our standby. blood oxygen saturation levels are. I'm already increasing. You are? 95, 96. Good morning, Miami. Uh, 330 off the top of level 400 smooth. Roger. 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 Maybe a few bumps as we catch the edge of this cloud yeah. here. I can see the Turks and Caicos up ahead. Yeah, hey. one eight one hey. seven. Eight. We're not even going to go in. Are we? We're going to surf it. <laughs> so there was no bumps. I wanted bumps. I wanted drama. I normally get to this point and I, I try and do as much as I can for the landing. Right. Get it ready. Yeah, get it ready. Ooh, airplane wash. Hey. Cool. And approach uh, one two seven Zulu supporting Pinos. Two uh, Sierra Zulu, Roger. Make it a ten mile leg in the hole. Report turning inbound. Okay, we'll make it a 10 mile leg and we'll uh, report uh, turning inbound one to Cesar. What's your percentage power on final? Uh, percentage power on final well, is one around 20%. Two Sierra Zulu, descend 3,000. Down to 3,000 to Sierra Zulu. 20%. 20%. 30%. 30%. 30 on this. So my rule of thumb is 40% power when I'm approaching anything. A hold and a, you yeah. know, an approach circuit. Yeah. The moment I get into I'm it, 50. I'm 20%. So you're 50 and 30. That's all right, I can remember that. Yep. Yeah. And approach one to Sierra Zulu established uh, inbound uh, 10 miles from Binos right now. Roger. 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 From so one to two Sierra Zulu, keep your speed up and report Binos. What's your distance, Binos? Distance Binos 7.5. Uh, we'll speed up one to Sierra Zulu. Correct. You can speed up and report Binos. I will uh, speed it up uh, real good and we'll report uh, Binos to Sierra Zulu. One to two Sierra Zulu, distance Binos. 1.3, 1 to 7. They, they don't have any radar, huh? No, there's no radar, no ASB, uh -huh. ADSB, so it's all procedural. So they're literally just drawing a mental picture. Wow. To know if she can release someone else off the runway as well. November 1 to 2 Sierra Zulu surface wind, 110 degrees at 05 North Runway 10, clear to land. Runway 10, clear to land, 1 to 7. Ah, show off. This is a lovely FPA. Yeah, this is really good. We do not have these in Australia. All right, let me do a little impromptu lounge tour. Tea and coffee making facilities, coffee machine here. Tea, I've already said that, water. Little offices and private offices down there. There's a hole upstairs, I don't even know what's up there. This is amazing, Australia, lift your game. Oh, what is it, Provi Providence? Provi Providential, Pro Provost. Yeah, Provost Tower, I guess. Okay. Provost Tower, November 122, Sierra Zulu is at the Provost Air Center, two POB for a VFR departure to South Caicos. Request taxi with information, Bravo. 122, Sierra Zulu. Clear to the control zone out above 2,000 feet, taxi to holding point Foxtrot, hold short, runway 10. 
Roger, okay, for being a Okay. Temperatures and pressures are all good. No runway, flaps away. Yeah. And it's right turn, not above two. Yeah. 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 One, two, two, Sierra Zulu, make your right turn as soon as safe and contact approach on 126 decimal zero. All right turn, we'll do that now. And uh, 12680, November 12680. Correct. Promise approach, November 122 Sierra Zulu, uh, Zulu is just out of Promise Airport and we'll be maintaining 1000 visual. November 122 Sierra Zulu, report 15 miles from uh, South Caicos. 15 from South Caicos, Wilco, November 122 Sierra Zulu. It's so good, there you go. Uh, you're collecting the time my friend. Yeah, Yeah. I'm finally, this yeah. is only the second time that I've used my FAA uh, license. I'm honoured. So what did you say to report 15 miles prior? What did you say? 15? Yeah, 15 before 15 miles um, yeah. before the destination. November 122 Sierra Zulu, report position. November 122 Sierra Zulu is coastal and we are 25 miles from destination. 25 miles from South Caicos, confirm. Hey firm, 25 miles from South Caicos, 122 Sierra Zulu. Roger, report 15 miles from South. We'll go, 122 Sierra Zulu. So yeah, it looks like we're going to do like a left base. Yeah, you know. So it'll be seven. Seven. That. November 122 Sierra Zulu is 15 miles South Caicos. November 122 Sierra Zulu, contact South Caicos, frequency 118 decimal niner. 118 decimal niner, 122 Sierra Zulu, thanks. We've got a great speed right, 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 Oh, I good. knew you knew what you were doing. Oh, good. Thank you. That means a lot. Sometimes the easy part of a flying adventure is actually the flying. The hard part is the logistics and getting around. So we have got a hotel booked for tonight, but we haven't got transportation, which admittedly maybe we could have organised beforehand, but, you know, whatever. Things were quite busy today. But so we're now here in the middle of the airport. We can't get through to the hotel. There's no one in the tower that can help us, and... There's obviously no Uber or Lyft, so we're kind of stuck. Saved. Saved by the wonderful lady who works in air traffic control here at the airport. Thank you so much. She's booked us a car. So, slight issue. We made it to the hotel, taxi dropped us off, everything was fine. I went for a run, we had a swim, and I was gonna leave the video there, but tomorrow, the plan was actually, the plan was quite straightforward. We were gonna fly from where we are now, so South Caicos, over back to Provost to clear customs and do everything here, and then to the Cayman Islands. Beautiful. However, to fly there, we have to fly across this country. Now, this country is Cuba. And you can fly across Cuba, but we didn't realize that you can only fly across Cuba if you have a permit. And we can get a permit, and that's not a problem, but we didn't realize you can only get a permit during the week. And that's okay if it was during the week, but it's not. It's actually Saturday night now. So there's no way that we can fly across Cuba tomorrow. And we have accommodation booked in the Cayman Islands tomorrow. And kind of the rest of the trip was based on us getting to the Cayman Islands tomorrow. So at this point in time, I don't know if we're going to get to the Cayman Islands tomorrow. This isn't just one of those cliffhangers to make you see what's in the next episode, but... I said that we had a bit of a problem with the idea of crossing Cuban airspace. Well, it's not a problem anymore. Thank you, you're the man. Awesome. Great job, man. I landed on the wrong wheel, but... Five, zero, five, zero, five, zero.